morning everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're in Tokyo and we're going to be heading to some popular tourist spots and showing you around. spot of the day is Sentaji Temple in Asakusa. We're going to be wandering around all the historical sites to see exactly what it has to offer. So we've just wandered around the grounds of Sensaji Temple. It's absolutely stunning. It stunning. It's so peaceful as well. So peaceful. We actually came at seven o'clock this morning, but we kind of regret that. We wish we'd come at five. <laughs> we've been heavily drinking and having nights out a lot here in Japan. So yeah, <laughs> 7 a.m. Em felt early enough. Embracing the Japanese culture. <laughs> Literally. Now we're going to head to our next spot to get some coffee and we'll see you there. <laughs> concept of this cafe is really cute so basically people that aren't able to go out they can work remotely using the robot to provide service to people in the restaurant so it's just such a nice concept and it was a little bit expensive but totally worth it knowing that that's exactly what they're doing here so yeah definitely recommend coming hello thank you thank you London. London. Hello. <laughs> I think it's amazing. You can even hear them laughing. It's so good. You can hear them laughing. I think it's, just, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful idea. It's giving them a second chance. Yeah. Like, it's, that works. That works. Yeah, it's beautiful. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Bye bye. <laughs> well that was definitely an experience wasn't it yeah i've never i never expected to go to a robot cafe and get really emotional but um <laughs> there we go it's just such a sweet concept because it has the pictures of the people behind mm. the robot um so it actually feels like you're talking with them yeah um yeah it's just really cute i really wish that they did stuff like that in england because you know people have sane minds but their bodies they're just not allowing them to do certain work yeah but they still want to do work so the woman that was making our coffee the big robot she was actually a barrister before she got sick so she wanted to carry on doing her job and that robot now allows her to do that so it's just really an example cute. of how we can like use technology for the better rather yeah. than for the worse you know yeah. Yeah, I love Definitely. it. Definitely. But we decided not to eat there because it is a little bit expensive. So we're going to head to a local place for some lunch now. <laughs> Our meals come to 1300 which is around about eight pounds for us yeah we'll put the bad. price below and yeah. we'll also put the name below i actually saw this place on tiktok uh, for cheap eats in tokyo it's a chain so there's a lot around so if it's good we'll let you know that meal was honestly 10 out of 10. yeah 10 out of 10. Mine was really good because you got salad, soup and the whole meal for like three pounds. It's insane. So we've had our lunch and now we're going to the next spot. Which is called Take a Shitter Street, which... <laughs> I'm sure that's probably not how it's pronounced. It's definitely not. It's spelled Take a Shitter. <laughs>
okay, so we've actually ended up where all the fancy shops are. But yes. as you know, well, you may or may not know, we're traveling for two years backpacking, so it's not gonna be for us. Okay, we're at our next stop now, which is Take a Shit and Shoot. And it's absolutely rammed and full of the craziest shops. I feel like all you really need to do here is eat, drink, shop, and then eat some more. If you want a load of tat, then Japan is your place to come. Like, just random, look, like random, random bits of tat. Look, everywhere. I feel like actually, just, well, this is just, everything's just so random and stuff that you'd never need. So if you want tat, come to Japan. Look, more tat, and this time you have to play a game to get it. <laughs> Who wants this? Look, I don't get it. <laughs> Bad. No, nah, Ria's right though, it is a lot of plastic. Especially in today's world, we've got like a huge problem with single use plastic. It is everywhere here. That looks like me. No, that one's you. The leak Leak head. head. Okay, I do really like the cute bits of toast. Good tap. So we're going to take the train now to Shibuya Crossing, which is world famous for the most busiest crossing in the world. Yeah, we had to leave that previous place. It was too, too hot, much. too busy, and yeah. not for us. We don't really like shopping like that, like strange kind of tat. <laughs> the next station is Shibuya. Okay, so we're at the crossing now. I must cross. say, the busyness mixed with this intense heat is not an enjoyable combination. Ah, oh, but here we are. This is this is the famous crossing. Everyone's just holding up their phones. Well, well, busy road, road completely, mate. mate. We've managed to find a little corner to relax because it is so chaotic here and so hot, I just don't think I can take it anymore. <laughs> it doesn't help that we had a massively heavy night two nights ago, yeah. but we're old now and we can't handle it anymore. We can't hack it. <laughs> so um, yeah, we're a bit tired. So it feels even more chaotic to us than normal. But this is a nice seat, watching the crossing, not in the crossing. <laughs> Okay, so now we're gonna take a bus to our final spot of the day, which is Shinjuku. Something that I've noticed on buses in Japan is that everyone is so quiet and they just keep themselves to themselves. They're just sort of sitting on their phone and the bus driver's just sort of mumbling to himself. <laughs> Uh, it's cool. So we're at the last spot of the day. We're going to go and see the huge cat sign, which I'm really excited about because we love cats. <laughs> and then we're going to go meet our friends and have some dinner and some non-alcoholic drinks because, Absolutely. my God, Tokyo has killed us yes. on the drink front. <laughs> <laughs> This place is such a vibe. So cool at night. Like... It just comes alive. Electric everywhere. Yeah. But like, how you imagine New York to be, but when you get to New York, you're really disappointed. And then you get here and you're like, wow, yeah, this is what I expected. It's like a York. clean, safe New York. Yeah. I keep losing you. 
Sorry. Rhea just fits into the crowd because she's like five foot nothing and dark hair. So <laughs> it's like a million of her right now. So you can actually see Godzilla right in front of us. Who's Godzilla? What, that dinosaur? Rhea. Godzilla. I don't know who Godzilla is. See what I have to put up with? <laughs> Cheers to my water. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so we just sat down for dinner with our friends at the Yaki Tori Centre. We're going to enjoy our ramen and yeah, the rest of the night. So we're going to end this vlog here. We hope you enjoyed exploring Tokyo with us and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>